How's it going? Slowly, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so slowly. So your roof is. As your... you can see, yeah. My roof is half done, and it is difficult to do because it is all half slabs. Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't mess with slabs because slabs are like Satan's kneecaps. Um. <laughs> but here you are. Well, that is that is one way to put them that I have never heard before. <laughs> are you done with all the crenellations, Kim? Yes. Everything has been crenellated. Look, look, it's all, all crenellating. I may have missed something somewhere, but I I think it looks yeah, it looks pretty finished to me. Um. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Let Please me uh, don't... let me do a proper inspection. Oh, I see. Don't make White me do more. Test. I don't want to do more. I don't want to do more. No more. Please, sir. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> what? Have you found something? <clears throat> Is that indigestion? <clears throat> I don't know. Like, what? what's going on over there? It's just my stomach. I'm actually really hungry. <clears throat> yeah, well, you had gone off bagels, so... Not surprised. Oh yeah. No, I actually, I had to pull out. Um, it, it, it's just some, you know, like really, really minor stuff that I don't expect that you would have been able to figure out what I wanted, anyway. So. No, I am not psychic. I'm dyslexic, but not psychic. <laughs> I thought they were the same thing, Kim. <laughs> I've been living a lie. Yeah, many people make that mistake, but yeah. I like how you make all these really high-tech things, but your crafting benches are always the basic crafting bench. Like you don't go for the second-grade crafting bench that holds your stuff on it. Like, Actually, there's a very specific reason for that. When you're switching between your crafting recipes so frequently and rapidly, mm -hmm. it's a larger hassle to have to click all of the items out of a uh, out of the crafting table that holds stuff. And you've got an answer for everything, don't you? So what? What was that? <laughs> you you got hmm? an answer for hmm? absolutely everything, haven't you? Like. Yep. So it's actually a whole lot faster if you just leave it a normal crafting table and let the thing puke all of the uh, parts out step whenever you uh, step away from it. So fine. So yeah, there's 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 that reason for you. You know, you well, you asked. I gave you a quest. You your a, you answer a has been weighed and found to be legit. So I look stupid Damn. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh Damn dear. straight. <laughs> I'm not certain if I should feel good about that. Well, yeah, that, well, you, that's it. You upset the host. Okay, so um, the next job here, oh, Kim, God, here we go. is... Um, <laughs> you're acting like it's the worst thing on the planet that well, I'm giving you another job. Well, it probably job. is going to be the worst thing on the planet. Like, you know. Uh, I will admit, Kim, I did go overboard, and I'm sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am actually regretting this, and I am apologizing to you specifically for all of the extra work that I have created here. Okay, so uh, your next step is to do this. Mm -hmm. On all of the obvious spots around the uh, the platform. Do you uh, see? Where are you? I ran away. Hold on. Um, oh, I see how it is. Too much, too much for you, eh? No, I want to go and put away some of your crap. My crap? I don't. I don't have crap. Fine. Damn. Just valuable resources. Consistently hurting me. Have you tried? I mean, I made you rice balls. True. By the way, have you have you tried those yet? They're really good. Okay, uh, I'm not hungry yet, but I'll give it a go when I'm next hungry. Um, right. so you want marble um ding dongs? What's that? Yeah. It's okay. So um. If you, uh, if you look in the chest diagonal to the left, yeah, that, uh, behind that, um, there's a chisel in there. Mm -hmm. Using the chisel, um, there is a pillar looking type of marble that has like the border on the top and the bottom of it. So mm -hmm. it auto connects its textures. Pillar. Uh, no, that's wool. I, I almost put wool in. <laughs> Oh, which one is it? I want to... I can't... Do I have the right kind of marble? This doesn't look right. Marble pillar. It's all It's all chisel marble. I specifically went out and gathered it all, because you yeah. didn't have enough. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you should have made like Ross and just yelled at me. <laughs> and held my arm in a very threatening way. In, in, instead, I left you alone, and I kindly uh, gathered the stuff myself, because I didn't want to get in your way, Kim and your weekend, um, so... Have a look at... Where are you? Where, where did you go? Are you back on the roof? Right here. Right here. I'm uh, right here. Okay. Um, have a look at this. Like, I can't find the one that matches, like, the ones that you have created, the marble pillar. Who am I? You're right. What on earth? Oh, it says you just put raw marble in a column of six. Oh. What do you know? Yeah. 
proof that I don't know everything. <laughs> so, like but, this. Uh, yeah, in a yeah. column. So, uh, that marble is going to be used for more than just the pillars, though. Okay. So uh, don't, like, overcraft and have a whole bunch left over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, there's a relatively good count there. So how many pillars do you want? And wh where do you um, want them? Just like... It's... Well, uh, just follow... Uh, you see where I put the pillars down already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, One, two, so it's three, four. four, and then capped with those uh, smooth stone, uh, with these uh, smooth blocks. Yeah, block slabs. Here's uh, there are two stacks of them over here in the in the chest. Mm -hmm. The uh, the block, the slab blocks, for you. Yep, I've already got for some. For you and your kind butt. <laughs> my my what butt? Your kind butt. My butt. My my butt. Why are we talking about my I'm, butt? I'm referring to you through your butt. My, like, I, like, my, like, you know, hold your butts. Hold, hold you your magnificent butt. butt. You, you big butt. I mean, I guess we do yeah. have an odd fascination for butts in the Yogg's cast. Like, Jesus we Christ. do, Kim. I'm like, didn't you get the memo? It came in right before the recording session. I thought you recorded. Well, well, it's, I, it was kind of in our contracts, isn't it? When we sign our contracts, it's like, P.S. You have to talk about butts a lot. So I put down the stone slabs, but it looks different to the um, the ones that you put down. Look. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's because uh, it's not two stone slabs put down, it's two stone slabs crafted together to make Ew. a special block. So Ew. there are two stacks in the chest over here. I see. I see. Which it looks like you went and grabbed, so. Yeah, I do that. Put it down, <laughs> I'm touching it. Ooh wee. So do you want this? four on the front, four on the back? Um, actually, that that's just a repeating pattern all the way around. Oh, so you want uh, pillars on every single one of the... Yeah, slabs. every single one. Oh, better put some music on. It's going to be a long sure. night. The alternative to doing an accent is um, doing uh, a voice. Okay. You know, uh, sometimes an accent can do that. It's just like, can you pitch your voice up? Can you pitch your voice down? Can you do something different with it? Or are you just limited to uh, the, uh, the accent? Yeah. So, like, if I was to do a Will Strife voice, I'd be like, I'm Will Strife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That was brilliant. So, I'll, that was... I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, no offense, but you got a really deep voice. So, like, I don't think, you know, as a human female, I can lower my voice to the pitch that you have. Like... I don't know. Most people on the main channel comments um, be, think I have a high-pitched, shrieky voice. Um, really? Yeah. I, I, th I think that you got a perfectly fine voice. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, which makes me laugh when you've got the likes of, you know, Simon, Duncan, and Shins shrieking away on the main channel, you know, <laughs> especially when Duncan and Shin play GTA. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, but I can't do a low pitch. You can't do a low pitch, but I no. mean, like... Can you can you change your voice? Can I to change sound my voice? Hmm. It's it's I, not I necessarily you, pitchy. Yeah, yeah, I need you to give me someone to kind of imitate. Like I don't think I can do this kind of off the cuff, uh, like just okay, make up. Okay, so a if voice, you can't so. do me, the next obvious step is uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. So <laughs> <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. Because um, he's got a he's got a higher voice than me. Okay. What should right. I say? <laughs> what should I say? Uh, Benedict. Okay, hold on. Benedict, come on. I just need some, I need to research this for, uh, research. <clears throat> um, now she's going to read the Ooh, Wikipedia hello. article over the man oh, that hi. she's got. Uh, <laughs> yep, hi, that's Benny. exactly what it's, I'm... It's been a while. Um, oh, God, what have I stuttered? <laughs> actually, if you want a really good example of Benedict Cumberbatch's voice, uh, poem, there's a YouTube video where he reads a poem i think it's called ode to a nightingale and my god it is it is like liquid sex in your ears i won't i won't lie it is it is amazing <laughs> my heart aches a drowsy numbness pains my sense as though of hemlock i had drunk does that sound like benedict i don't think it does i think i'm just doing a posh british voice I, yeah, that's that's what I was feeling myself. Yeah, I'm not. I can't. I can't get his timbre, because he has like a, 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 like almost like a lazy, 
um, I don't want to say drone because that's not the right word, but like a kind of rhythm to his voice that just really kind of, you know, hits you right in the spine. Um, oh. What? I'm trying to do Benedict for you. Will Strife, no, you asked no, me to do Benedict, so I am doing it's, Benedict it's, it's, on no, air for it, you. It's not, it's not that, Kim. It's not that. I no, Just calm down. Calm down. I'm not criticizing you. I'm not saying anything bad about you. Just... <laughs> Well, Calm let's, let's hear you do down. Benedict. Come on. I've had my go. Uh, oh, I couldn't okay. I couldn't do Benedict Cumberbatch no, it, for the life of me. You have to try. You have to try. I didn't think I could do it for the life of me. So, you know, well, this no, is... Well, no, I, Come on. I'm telling you, you that I can't you do can't Benedict throw, Cumberbatch come on. for the life of me because I can't do a British accent for you're, the life you're of gonna me. Do, you're going to do Cumberbatch right now, live on air. Come on. Do do Cumberbatch. Come on. I've had a go on him. And it's now your turn. Um, help on, me out with the British accent first. Okay. Just talk like you've got toffee in your mouth. Okay. Talk like you've got toffee in your mouth. That was Cockney. That's pretty good. Keep going. So, okay, I don't know the difference between Cockney and whatever. So, well, Cockney um, is a bit like you know street urchin, like a little bit cheeky, a little bit whoa, a little bit way. Um, but you want to do Benny? You want to be a bit more received pronunciation. So we kind of touched on this last time. You want to be a bit more posh, okay? Posh. Think the Queen, okay? Queen Lizzie. I'll, I'll, I'll be straight with you about this, Kim. The, the last time I did a British accent, it was on Vent, and everybody got really mad at me, so I feel really bad about trying to do a British accent well, these Well, I'm not going to get mad at you, okay? And the viewers aren't going to get mad at you either, because otherwise I will start on them. Like, you know, we're just having fun here, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and we're going to try some accents. And, uh, go on. Here's the classic phrase that you can try, okay, from My Fair Lady. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The rain... Okay. If we want to go super uh. posh. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The rain in Spain... Fa- oh my god. You've got uh. Scottish again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Scottish again. <laughs> difficult. The ironic part is that I watched so much Robert Gilbert one weekend that I actually picked up a Welsh accent. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Um, Well, what accents... Well, no, we're doing voices here, aren't we? Not accents. So what voices can you do? I can do falsetto. Oh dear god. If that's any good. I mean, (laughs) I don't know if you want to hear that. (laughs) Have a bang on that then. About three weeks ago... It'd be hard to get into it. <laughs> I bought Devil May Cry 4 on an after Christmas sale. And I just recently beat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And let me say, that game, it's not what I expected it to be. <laughs> <laughs> you mad, bruh? <laughs> you mad? <laughs> You, you mad? <laughs> I was. Uh, I thought. I actually thought the game was okay. It was just not that amazing of a game. So. Do, do you know what the weird thing is, though? When you went falsetto, you went British. Did I? Yeah. Did I? Well. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe. Oh my God! You're like Robin Williams. You're Mrs. Doubtfire. So, <laughs> so when you're when you're a man, you're you're American. But when you go like English nanny, you go British. Oh my God! That's so funny. <laughs> Say something else. Come on, nanny me. Like what? <laughs> See, you've gone British. What do you British. want me to say? Kim, Kim, you've been a very bad girl. <laughs> you, you haven't cleaned your room. Oh my God, being, you've gone totally you're telling British. Your parents, you're telling your parents to do things that they don't know how to do. Oh my God, I'm host. on nanny 911. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. See, that's it. I told you I could get you to go British on this video. <laughs> You just had to well, channel I'm... a falsetto voice. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to become a woman. That's all you had to do. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute there. <laughs> take that out. Like, someone's going to take that sound clip out. And <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. But now, yeah, so try and say uh, the rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain in your falsetto voice. Go on. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, and there we go. Will Strife is now a citizen of the British Empire. Bring it. <laughs> I didn't know that I would even... Do I, do I even want to be an expat? <laughs> hey, technically we colonized you first, so, you know. Oh, oh, I see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no, we didn't colonize you. We lost you to the colonies. You, you guys wanted out. So, you? Yeah. You're like, peace out. You, I'm, I'm you out. established the colonies yeah. and you were like, no, screw you guys. You, 
It's I'm freaking butt crashing over here. <laughs> and then there was something about tea, like you just threw our tea into the sea or something, and you know, you just don't do that to British people. Like, Jesus Actually, Christ. Actually, interesting bit of information there. Mm -hmm. um, I found out whenever I was taking history classes in um, college that the Boston Harbor still has zero life in it because of the Boston Tea Party. Oh. Like, basically what happened was whenever the, uh, the colonists chose to chuck the crates of tea over the side into the harbor, and Boston Harbor is one of the few natural harbors in the world, mm -hmm. you know? So there was actually so much tea chucked into the harbor that it, uh, it actually expanded and came up out of the water and started coming over onto the ship decks. Mm. So it like frothed up in this enormous sponge-like substance. Yeah. And because there was just such an incredible amount, literally it wiped out the ecosystem of Boston Harbor and there is still God. nothing living there to this day. Revenge! Because The Englishman's revenge! <laughs> freaking British tea. <laughs> Well, that's what you get if you go throw good tea out. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, yeah. I'll be honest. I want to go and listen to the rest of that Benedict Cumberbatch video. Uh, oh, my word. Kim. In private. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> what uh, if I were to knock, knock my voice into the back of my throat and just be vamp out of Metal Gear? Nah, none of the Metal Gear no. peeps ever did it for me. No. No. Oh, the only, you're missing out on something so good. The only deep throat voice I kind of vaguely liked was uh, Bane, <laughs> like Tom Hardy's Bane. So, yeah. And even, even that, I recognized that that was like vaguely ridiculous. <laughs> Bane, Bane, I bring the pain. <laughs> oh my God. But that is a whole other video. So we will wrap it up for here. Star's gonna finish up his roof and then next time we are gonna fill the inside of his mighty building. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys something. next time. So it's not hollow and unexciting like Will Strife Hat Films Tower. Oh, boom! <laughs> Bye, everybody! Bye! <laughs> what, you don't want a dirty cathedral? No. Cathedral of shame! No, Kim. <laughs> don't. Just get the peasants, don't, the peasants to clean it. Don't, don't pollute it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>